Welcome back to another nautical talk video. Um, today we're doing a review on the Apenante Truly Wireless Earbuds. Um, we're going to start off with the components in the box today, which include a USB C cable, a case actually, a little carrying case, earbuds, I mean the case and the earbuds. Um, different size tips, so we got the, I believe this is the larger ear, medium, and I'm using the smalls on my earbuds. Um, some of the details on the back of the box. Instructions. And that's about it. So let's get into the review. When it comes to the designer features, the case is very high quality but a little heavy. Um, honestly, I thought it was going to be bigger, so I'm kind of surprised by its size. It's pretty decently small. Um, the earbuds are also pretty nice in quality. It feels metal on one side, but I definitely know on this side that it's plastic. Um, the, the case and earbuds are equipped with magnets that keep the case closed and keep the earbuds inside the case. They're not coming out there. The earbuds look pretty nice as well. The case is pocketable, but it's on the larger side of po pocketable. And when they're in your ears, however, they stick out a little too much. And that can mess up the fit, which I'll talk about a little bit more later on. Um, the case doesn't do a great job of staying open. And the earbuds are IPX7 rated for dust and water. Um, they have Aptex, Type-C, and Bluetooth 5.0. And when it comes to the comfort and fit, as mentioned earlier, the earbuds stick out of your ears a little too much. Um, and th that causes the earbuds to bounce around your ears and it makes it feel like they will come out, but a lot of times they actually don't. So, for me at least, due to them sticking out of the ears, I feel like I need to push them in a lot to make a good fit, but everyone's different. And when I do that, my left ear, is it feels kind of painful. Again, everyone's different. And anyways, this may not be the case for you, so I don't want to be the reason why you don't get the earbuds. Just keep in mind, if you get them, they may be uncomfortable for you as well. And uh, for the sound quality, it says bass for cheap in the title for a reason. It's not that these have crazy heavy bass, it's just that they have very good sounding bass, especially for a set of low-priced wireless earbuds. For these earbuds, it has some AirPod-like wireless earbuds, which were very clear but were lacking in bass. So when I tried these out, I was very surprised at the level of bass they, they brought. Um, the mids are nothing special, but not bad. When it comes to clarity, they're pretty good, even with the bass being there. Um, and the highs are pretty decent, and, and for my non-audiophile ears, um, my ears were very impressed. Overall, the price I paid for these, for the price I paid for these, the time was very nice. For the battery life, um, so far in the around two weeks I've had these, the earbuds themselves have never died on me before I had to put them in the case. And the advertised battery life in the ear for the earbuds is seven and a half hours. So that should be plenty. And you can supposedly charge th recharge them with the case 26 times with the case's 3000 milliamp hour hour battery unless you use these all day and don't put them in the case they should last you um, they should last you all day without having to recharge them um, the noise cancellation was okay but I found that whenever I had the volume up too loud certain S sounds would be annoying to hear and while these have okay noise cancellation um, it could probably be better, and the rain seems pretty good. On my laptop, sometimes it cuts in and out even when I'm not far away from it, so that's something to keep in mind. 
Um, there really isn't any delay on both of my laptop and my phone thanks to the Aptex. When it comes to mic quality, I'm not really into that stuff. I don't really use it for calls or anything, but it's good enough. And value for the money, these definitely bring that value for the money aspect. And um, honestly, these could easily be a pair of $100 earbuds. I'd still be very pleased with them. Um, they have uh, all the premium features you want, but at a $20 price point. Um, this may sound like I had for these earbuds, honestly, but they are really good. Like, for my honest opinion, these are really nice earbuds. And if you're curious, I purchased these for $20 with a $5 coupon, making these $15, which is insane for the USB-C, water resistance on the earbuds, aptacks for low latency, and IPX7, I already said water resistance, but yeah. Um, anyways, if you want all the premium features at a low price and great battery life, these are for you. Just keep in mind, they have not great comfort and fit. Well, that's, a, that's all for now. And see you in the next nautical tech video.